Hello again. Welcome to yet another class. It's a class powered by Isaac Mentor Foundation. And the subject for today is Christian Religious Studies. And the topic for today is Religious Reforms in Judah. Under Religious Reforms, we're going to be studying the kingship of King Josiah. King Josiah is arguably the youngest king to have ruled Israel. But that appellation is actually wrong because at the time when King Josiah was ruling Israel or was ruling, Israel and Judah were separated. So King Josiah is the youngest king to have ruled Judah, not Israel, because Israel and Judah were their se went their separate ways before the reign of King Josiah. The youngest king to have ruled Israel is Jehoachim. King Josiah became king at the age of eight. King Josiah lost his father, Ammon, who ruled Judah for two years. Ammon was assassinated by his officials and um, servants, who later lost popularity in the, in the minds of the Israelites. King Josiah was a very young king. His mother was called Jedidah. His mother was called Jedida, not Jedidiah. Jedidiah is the household name of Solomon. No, do not mistake Jedidiah for Jedida. Remember, I told you just some seconds ago, Jedidiah is the household name of Solomon. Then the royal name of King Solomon is Solomon. His household name is Jedidiah. Now, the mother to Josiah is Jedida. Josiah's father was called Ammon. He ruled Israel for two years before he was assassinated. Now, Josiah ruled Israel for 31 years. Are we together? Now, King Josiah ruled Israel at the time when Sorry, King Josiah ruled Judah. He ruled Judah, not Israel. King Josiah ruled Judah at the time when the sins of the people of Judah were at its peak. But unfortunately, they did not even know that they were sinners and that God has, has, actually, has actually erected turbulence and, and terrible events to before them. Now, the Bible says that King Josiah asked is the secretary of the temple of God, Shaphan, to meet the high priest of God, high priest of God at the temple, Elkiah, to give El to tell Elkiah to take the money in the treasury of the temple to the men who were rebuilding the temple. These men included Mason, now, masons are those that, another name for masons is bricklayers. Now, they included masons, the builders, and the carpenters. Now, Josiah told his secretary, the secretary of the temple, Shaphan, to meet the high priest of the temple, Elkiah, to take money from the treasury of the temple, money donated by the people of the land, and give them to the builders in the reconstruction of of the temple. What this means is that at this time, the temple was being reconstructed and we together. Now, by the time Shaphan the secretary met Okaya the high priest, Okaya the high priest told Shaphan that he has found the book of the law. And the book that he found in the temple contained the sins of the people of Judah and the punishments that God will met out on them. And so Shaphan took this book to the king Josiah and read this book or read the contents of the book to King Josiah. Are we together now? Eventually, as soon as King Josiah heard everything that were contained that was contained in the book, immediately he rent his clothes, he rent his royal robe. To rent your clothes means to tear your clothes. The present tense is rent, and the past tense is rent. Are we together now? King Josiah was worried as to what will befall, as to what should befall Judah. And so he instructed the son of Shaphan, Elkiah the high priest, Shaphan, his own servant, and Akbo, the son of Maikiah, Maikiah, the son, Akbo, the son of Maikiah. Are we together? Now, and so he told them to go meet the prophetess, Huda. They were to meet the prophetess Huda, who was wife of Shalom. Now, at this time, prophetess Huda lived in the Jerusalem, the second quarter of Jerusalem. 
And so, what they were to meet Prophet Uda for was Prophet Uda to explain what will befall is um, Judah for the sins of the people of Judah, because she was a prophetess, of course. And so, Prophetess Huda, remember she was wife of Shalom, told them everything that will befall Judah for the sins of the people of Judah, but also reassured them that the Lord says that these things that will befall the land of Judah will not happen in the reign of Josiah. Reasons being that Josiah was penitent. Josiah, remember, tore his clothes as a show of repentance, as a show of humility when he, he saw the contents of the book of the law. And this actually pleased God to the tune that God extended the time for the punishment. He, he gave a large vacuum between when the book of the law was found and between and when it would destroy the land of Judah, just so that Josiah will not witness the atrocities that will befall Judah. God spoke to Prophetess Uda that he will, he will take Josiah to the grave to meet his ancestors in one piece. That his eyes will not will not see what will befall the land of Judah, and so they returned. That is the messengers that Josiah sends to meet Uda in Jerusalem. They all returned to meet Josiah and told him everything that the prophetess had said. And it was normal for Josiah to carry out religious reforms after he heard everything that the prophetess said. Now, Josiah asked for the elders of Judah, and he assembled all, all of them at the temple of God, where it told them that the content of the book of the law, and told them what to before the land of Judah, and also admonished them to, to, to have a change of heart and a change of attitude. And eventually, Josiah went on, on a reformation. Now, he... It destroyed several several things that that depicted idolatry, idol and the worship of idols. For instance, he he took the the statue of Baal and Asherah that were in the temple and burned them at the field of Kidron. He also he also destroyed the the high place that was made by Solomon, which was in the east of Jerusalem to the south of Mount Corruption. He also carried out several, several reformations, such as the resumption of the Feast of Passover. Before the 18th year of Josiah's reign, from the period of the judges, that is, from the period of the judges to the 18th year of Josiah's reign, the Israelites did not celebrate the Feast of Passover. And remember, the Feast of Passover is a great feast in the history of the people of Judah. I'm sorry, I'm using Israel and Judah interchangeably. Now, the people of Judah did not celebrate the Feast of Passover. And remember the Feast of Passover when God spared their lives, when he destroyed the first male children, the first male children of both humans and animals, when the, the people of Judah, and of course, when they were still together with Israel, when they were in the land of, of Egypt. This is, a Passover, this is a feast that is celebrated every year to commemorate the period that God spared their lives, and when the angel of angel of death from God passed over their houses because they smeared the blood of lamb on their doorpost and on the lintel of their door. Now, also there was a place called Tophet. Tophet was is a is a high place of the of the god called Molech, and the place of Tophet. The people of Judah sacrificed their sons and daughters to the god Molech. Josiah defiled this place. Now he also he also killed all the sorcerers, all the sorcerers in Judah, and also the tomb of of the evil priests 
he, he assumed their bones and burnt their bones as well and he used and poured their sprinkled their bones on the ashes from their bones on Tophet to defile Tophet. All these and several other reformations that were carried out by King Josiah are contained in the in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah. Eventually, King Josiah died. He was actually killed like his father. He, he was killed on his way to go meet Pharaoh Necho, who was the Pharaoh of Egypt. Pharaoh Necho went to the high place to meet the king of Assyria. And Josiah went to meet Pharaoh Necho. But unfortunately for him, Pharaoh Necho met him on his way and slew him. Now the servants of Josiah took Josiah on a chariot. They took the remains of Josiah on a chariot back to Judah. Remember, Josiah was killed by Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt at Megiddo. And there are several salient points that you, need to, that you need to take out from this class. Firstly, is the fact that King Josiah became king at the age of, at the age of eight. His father ruled Judah for just two years before he was assassinated. His father was called Ammon. His mother was called his mother was called Jedida. His, the secretary of the temple was Shaphan, and the high priest was Elkiah. It was Shaphan that read the content of the book of the law to Josiah. And of course, Josiah sent Shaphan, Elkiah, the son of Shaphan, Akbar, the son of Makaiah, and his servant Asaiah to meet Prophetess Uda in Jerusalem. Uda was the wife of Shalom. And of course, it was Uda that told the messengers from Josiah that the punishment that God will met out on the people of Judah will not befall the people of Judah in the reign of Josiah. Josiah carried out several reforms, such as the removal of the idols to what that, 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 that were used in worshipping Baal and Asherah, and it destroyed and burnt these idols in the brook of Kidron. He also Remove the horses and the chariots that were dedicated to the sun god. He also cut down the the place for the male court prostitutes. He cut down the place for the male court prostitutes, and he also destroyed the high place that was made by Solomon by the to the south of Mount Corruption. He also destroyed the high place that was built by Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and he also resumed the Passover, which was not practiced from the days of the judges until the 18th year of the reign of Josiah. And remember, Josiah, of course, carried, began his religious reforms in the 18th year of his reign, and he eventually ruled Judah for 31 years. Thank you very much.